Hello, it's Wildman Rouse here, professional wildlife photographer out in Kenya at the moment with the brand new 150 to 600. Carry on watching to see what I think of it and maybe you'll see some nice pictures too. Now for this video, I'm gonna put this lens in 35 mil terms. That's a 300 to 1200. I know it's a 150 to 600 in micro four thirds, but it's easier to understand because you all come from the 35 mil world. It's a 300 to 1200. What a tremendous range. Now you might not know what that means in the real world. Sorry for my Cockney accent. Here's a hippo that I shot at 300 mil. Yeah, not gonna win any awards, is it? But you can get an idea. And here's the hippo that I zoomed in on the same lens at 1200 mil. And you can see, you can get more intimate portraits. So with the same lens, no converters, no changes, you can go from animal in habitat to a bit more intimate composition, um, a portrait, something like that. Really, really great. And don't forget the aperture is only f5 to 6.3. That means it's not, you know, I would expect a lens like this to be f9, f10, something like that. Um, it's not. So that means in low light, it's got a bright viewfinder and you can see really, really well. It means the autofocus works better in low light conditions. And I've got it coupled here uh, with the OM1 Mark II with its new stabilization and everything else. It works great. I've been using this lens a lot. Um, on a monopod because I shoot low angle. So I stick it down on the ground, turn the screen up so I can see it, and I rely on the autofocus to get the picture shot for me. Um, it's been very, very comfortable and easy to use. In fact, it's really well balanced. Weight wise, um, and I did my weight lifting again, not a lot of difference. Length wise, I know you want me to do this live on camera, do you have any idea how difficult it is? There you go. Not that much difference either. Now this is one of these push-pull lenses. What do I mean by that? Well, it's a twisty one. Okay, there's a button on the side to control uh, the tension of the twist, which I like. So this is out of 1200 mil. Now, it looks really big and unwieldy, but it's not because it's so well balanced, okay? And look at that, I've got a natural handhold there um, for the lens at 1200. And of course, when you're shooting at 1200, you ca you've got to shoot with the, the mindset, you've got to keep it more stable. So beanbag, tripod, or just good hand-holding technique, not my dodgy technique on the monopod, but it's really good. Now. You're gonna ask me about the quality at 1200, aren't you? Well, I have been pleasantly surprised, okay? I edit all my pictures at 200% because I want the best one that I can find of a sequence. And I tell you what, I have been so pleasantly surprised at the quality of this lens. I have no issue in sending images shot at 1200 mil to my agent. I know, it's just been fantastic. I have to say, as I say, really, really cool to handhold as well. I just, I've really, really fallen in love with it, actually. Um, it's been just a, a, a nice lens to travel with. And of course, you know, I've got this lens already, right? So I've got my 150 to 400. When I whack the converter on, it goes up to 1,000 mil. So, you know, 1,200, 1,000, whatever. But, you know, there's a different price point between the two, okay? And if you can't afford the 150 to 400, then this is an excellent alternative. I'm not saying it's a cheaper alternative or a less good alternative. It's an excellent alternative because to get 1200 millimeter range with good quality is just fantastic, particularly if you're on an older Olympus system, you know, EM1X, Mark III, or even before that, and you haven't made the upgrade to an OM1, then this would be an excellent partner to the OM1 Mark II that I've got here that I've been shooting it with. It would be a really excellent uh, upgrade for you, and it would, it would give you so many benefits to your wildlife photography. So in summary, this is a banging lens. I really, really love it. It's got me some really great pictures um, on this trip. It's fantastic. So give it a go. If you fancy having 1200 millimeters there, it's really brilliant. You'll love it.